What's up everybody? Today I'm back with another project. So in the last video I replaced the thermostat and the heating elements and the water heater but now the water heater is leaking. It's leaking actually from the pressure release valve and that is because the pressure is too high in this house. We noticed that as soon as the first day the water came through the faucet like a fire hose. But unfortunately, due to the age of the house or just neglect on a plumber's behalf earlier, the house does not have a pressure regulator, as you can see. So this is the main water shutoff that comes from outside into the house. So what we're going to do today is install one. So what I'm going to do to make things quick and easy, I'm just going to use shark bite since it's not behind the wall or anything that's really accessible and I keep an eye out on it. Shark bites are usually very good, but um, you know, it might not last as long as copper or PVC for that matter. But again, it's very exposed and I can see it if there's an issue. So here's how we're going to do the install. Here I have two shutoff valves. I'm not going to reuse the one that's, that's there now. I'm going to save it, but I'm not going to uh, reuse it. I'm going to use two shark bite shutoff valves, and then I have the regulator. So the way I'm going to install this is this way. I'm going to first have a shutoff valve down below coming into the house. Then I'm going to leave about an inch of space, and then I'm going to install well, not an inch, but two inches so that I can install the regulator. Then after that, I'm going to have another shutoff valve. And the reason I'm doing that is for future serviceability. So I could just shut off both and then I could pull that uh, valve and then service it as I need or replace it as I need. And then I can put it right back on, turn the water on without having to go outside or having to interfere with the rest of the water and then plumbing in the house. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do was measure this out. And I've measured from here to here, and that is just under 18 inches. Now, it's important to be precise during these matters, but I like to do overestimates at first just to make sure I can fit it. So since that's just under 18, I need to make sure I have 17 inches of clearance. All right, so as you can see, this is about about 18 inches. So what we need to do now is measure out all of our components to make sure it is less than 17 and a half inches. All right, so we have our PVC, we have our pressure valve regulator, and we have our two shutoff valves. And each one of these valves is four inches. It's a little less than four inches, but I'm round up to say four inches for both. So that's eight inches right there. Then I measure this out. That is about, f I know it looks, it's, it's, it's actually four and a half inches, but uh, a little less than that. So we're going to just call it five for safety's sake. So we have eight plus five, that's 13. And now we need to account for the space, the gaps that we need to have in between each. We don't want them button up against each other like that. We want to leave at least an inch of space. So we have an inch here. So we have 13, that'd be 14. Then here in between here, we need another inch. That's 15. And then between here and here, we need another inch, that's 16. And finally from here to the rest of the copper pipe, that's another inch, that's 17. So after doing our measurements, it looked like everything is going to work. It's going to be very precise. So we need to make sure we don't make any mistakes, do good cuts, and get this right the first time. Let's go. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and build this now before I go over there and disconnect any water or anything like that or cut any pipes. I'm going to just build this now so I can just cut those and then put them into place and we should be good. All right, so before we start, a couple things you're going to want, want to have are some pipe cutters. You don't want to use a hacksaw because it's going to create a lot of burrs and it won't be perfectly straight. So you want some pipe cutters. They're cheap. 
All right, so that was a major fail. I ended up going through four different pipe cutters. Those Huskies are trash. They made terrible cuts every time. They were crooked, they were burred. As soon as I demonstrated, if you look very carefully, you'll see the pipe was crooked. But I kept doing it and kept doing it. Anyway, there's a whole video uh, on me reviewing pipe cutters and which one to buy. Ultimately, you're gonna end up spending some money. I had to just buy some $66 Milwaukee's there are probably other ones that are cut really well for cheap, but I had already gone through three and they were trash. So Yeah, you want a deburring tool. I just got a little husky here with a lifetime warranty This is a few dollars and then you also want the shark bite Deburring tool so this will deburr this will deburr on the outside and the inside But this is a lot quicker a lot easier to do the outside of the pipes you then also want to move over to the pencil here and do the interior of it and then you'll have a smooth transition this will prevent any tears in the gaskets when you're putting on the shark bite and then also it will prevent turbulence in the water when it's flowing through the pipes now the proper way to cut the pipe you want to lay it inside of the cutting tool like this you don't want to hold it up because you can still cut it at a weird angle and it can become misaligned so you want to make sure everything is straight and then you crank it and then you just pull. All right, now that we have it made, what I'm gonna do is just double check where I'm gonna make my next cuts, like so. And then I'm gonna mark them off, actually, I can make that like right there okay yes then I'm gonna mark them off then I'm gonna clean these up I'm gonna clean that up clean the copper up then I'm gonna make my cuts I've already turned the water off drained all the water out of the system by turning on the faucets and now I'm gonna like I said clean these up make my cuts and since it's shark bites we just go ahead and connect them all right so I finally got everything together this is how it looks and you can see it's a little crooked I need to shorten this pipe just a bit to relieve any tension on these valves but everything does work I'm going to do that either today or tomorrow you don't want to leave that like that long but you got to go back through all your connections because once I fix this it caused issues other places such as here this be, uh, began to leak and now the faucet all the way upstairs and the bathroom no longer works so uh, that could be due to this though There is a leak here There you go. So that's what I'm going to work on fixing now Another thing I wanted to cover with this repair. I ran into an issue Here's the old pipe. I just cut the entire elbow off because it was easier just to build this out and then Slide it onto the pipe. There was no way to really do it with this pipe still sticking up But you see how thick those outer walls are here is, okay, here's a good example because here, here's the old, this is the old pipe that was on there and this is the new pipe. So this Charlotte pipe here is much, has much thinner walls than this three fourths. I thought it was an inch at first, but as you can see, this is still three and a quarter pipe just with a larger outer diameter. So you want to make sure you check for that before you get to cutting things open and then need to make a run to the store now it's probably not a big deal for most people but I live 36 minutes from the store so yeah it was a big deal and what I ultimately had to do was get an adapter here which went from the uh, wider wall to well this screws in and this adapter here went from the larger diameter to this screwed in and then to your newer thinner wall PVC or CPVC. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully that was informative, entertaining. Uh, if you need to install a water pressure regulator in your house, hopefully that helps you do so. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, use the shark bites. Uh, as you can see in this little clip, uh, when I replaced that leaky copper line. Uh, all to still not have water in the upstairs bathroom because I found another leak in the crawl space Which I'm still currently waiting on a part to be here today 
uh, and I'll record myself fixing that, show you guys that, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.